Hello everyone, my name's Caffeine the Gamer. Today I'm gonna talk about the review of a game and how I make, remake stories. When you watch the video, you can understand how to think deeply about games. You would be able to enjoy even developing games. You can use this video for your entertainment, your story improvement, and constructive critique, as you want. Because this is call. Not call of duty, not call of the wild, not even call of nature. It's the call of story, call of game. The call of let's enjoy together. First, let's summarize the info. Paranormal Entities. A horror adventure game. Summary. The touch, indie-ish but fun. Visuals, expression is kinda cheap but not bad. Sounds, so intense, it's the core expression of this game. Story, storytelling only with voice, it's rare. How horror, intense but kinda good. Generally, not bad at all, this can get you. This video is for constructive feedback. No offense, no malice. What I want to do here for you is, review, reinforce, and rebuild. If you have some question, feel free to comment it and let me know. Please enjoy this and subscribe. Let's story. Review. The touch. The expressions of horror in this game sometimes fail. But I must accept some got me. To think overall, plus and minus collide and the plus one. Visuals. It's like punch of our friends. Some punches don't hit us even if we don't move. But some straight punches reach you and you get nosebleed. Well, you better improve your punch but not bad at all. You say it while holding your nose. Sounds. I think this game is not visual one but auditory one. You can see the horror expression only few seconds and it's so dark. Maybe you're not impressed at the visual expression while muting. But can be impressed at the auditory expression while hiding video. Story. This game is a little bit rare because of no memo. Of course, this has writings on the wall, but it's not story. Storytelling only with voice and without memo is so rare. And it connects to ending, a good way to build a game. How horror. The first impression is just strong. This kind of strength is the same as hotness of pepper. But ritual and maze scene has mood. Premonitions that something scary keep happening is good. Generally. If you can tolerate the intensity, this can be fun game for you. Some jump scares can get you and the mood can entertain you. Reinforce. If I reinforce this game. Adding English subtitles for foreign players like me. As I always say, the point is if devs never think the game is not for foreign players or not. Being kind for players is always needed. And if summarizing this game, it can be sounds game. Intense sounds are the most typical feature of this game. And storytelling is performed with voice as auditory information. Restricting the storytelling to only sounds is ridiculous. Everybody prefer games that is rich for kindness. What I like is the ending. Referring to old film theory, all or most people in the film should be doomed. This is it. I never care if the protagonist dies in horror games because it's horror thing. But what I care is how the mastermind ends up. If I, as the protagonist, will be doomed, like yeah, I don't care how to end but let's go together, son of a gun. But even the branch of this game is at right before ending. This game won't allow you to save. So if you want to experience another ending. You should play it from the beginning to the ending again. The devs don't have to be kind for players, though when people think I don't want to play this game anymore, it's not player's fault. And a scream in the game makes me laugh a little bit. The male screaming. That was like hey, 
your butthole pierced by plunger? It must hurt. Oh well, don't show it. Unless the dev thinks the laughter in the horror game could be good seasoning, it's usually not great at all. Of course, it depends on how serious the dev wants to make good games. When being really serious, better improve that. But when not being serious, this is like pineapples in spicy hot pizza. Some like the sweetness in the hotness but some others dislike or hate it. Yes, like me. Rebuild. If I rebuild this game. I think we don't need fundamental rebuilding because this game already has foundation. Wandering around lonely but the voice being always with you is good, I think. So reinforcing this game can kill the goodness of this game. Today let's talk about plot together. Plot is, in other words, blueprint of story. It's handy for making story, even how to make story efficiently. It's easy to use. First, you make two points, the beginning and a scene you want to make. And make it connect. This is how plot works. For example, what if I make a scene a man dies? I want to kill him tragically and make people feel sad and think it's tragic. Then a question occurs what design should I make for the scene? First, a man who will die should appears in the game. It's better being at the beginning scene, so let him appear from the beginning. Is he the protagonist? No, now I don't want the protagonist to die. Then is he the protagonist's friend? Or a stranger? Let's choose friend now because a scene friend dies is tragic. IRL, I don't want them to die. Believe it. The reason why I think like that is only in the story, trust me. Anyway, this is how to design story. You never be able to design like this when designing straight from start to end. As I always say, story is linear. And scenes are points. So in the plot, we connect the scene as points to make story as line. In horror game, we ignore the scene with jump scare because it's almost less than scene as point. Usually it's not important for story and it's just for surprising players. So we can make horror games without story. A horror game only with jump scares could entertain you. But the most games have story and devs want to make it better. Then think about what scene is important, and how we make it better. And make it connect the scenes as points. For example, in this game, the typical scenes for story are the start the ritual, the maze. And the end. The first scene describes why the protagonist is there. The ritual scene describes something wrong happens. The maze scene describes this has been already no turning back. And the end scene describes how the story ends and the protagonist or the speaker ends up. The most important scenes are only the start and the end. Even the ritual or maze scene wouldn't be symbolic for this game. I mean, this game is good, but could be better. In the end, here's another example to make points connect person is point as well. And in the story, we make the people as points connect as line. This means relationship is line and story too. Like friendship or love as relationship would be story as well IRL. How would you connect them? Or how would you divide them? For what? And what's next? How would it expand? This is the theory to expand story. In the plot, Let's not forget what scene is important, and make it connect. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any kind of constructive critique or opinion, feel free to comment it and let me know. When you like this video, subscribe it. Let's meet in the next Let's Story. See ya.